RJ and I are a minute early, so don't panic. Don't panic. Hello, RJ. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm, I'm good. Uh, Devizes is warm, uh, but the sun's hiding. Uh, and yourself, weather-wise? It is, uh, it is stickier than a pile of molasses on an <laughs> anthill out there. And I won't go. I won't go. I refuse. <laughs> uh i like it in here i've got nice lighting the cat yeah. the cat and the dog are hanging out yeah i'm not going out there it's gross right yeah it's, it's that's a good description of you painted the picture there it's sort of similar here we, we've got a word which which sort of brings all that together in, in one and say hello to corinda and hello to bob from, from Andre and i um that's muggy muggy Muggy. That, that explains British weather in a word today. It's definitely muggy. It's, it's sort of, uh, it's heavy. You can feel it in the air. It's, it's not it's not pleasant, is it? Mm -hmm. No. But we are lucky because bots don't care about the weather, do they? They don't. They run whatever the weather. And uh, that's one of the things that I like about them so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, they do need looking after, but they don't need feeding or watering, and, and they're impervious to, to whatever the weather is. Um, all of which brings us nicely onto the Live Video Hub. And if you've not met the Live Video Hub before, uh, it is a one page on Facebook where 150 shows are broadcast. And no longer do you have to go to 150 different pages to actually watch them. You can just go to one page, find the shows that you're interested in. I'll come back to that in a minute. And you can sit and watch. You can watch, but it's not like TV. This is not tele watching television. This is seeing shows live on the live video hub and being able to interact. You can ask questions. You can make comments. You can be a guest on the show. And most of the shows that uh, broadcast on the hub do ask for guests, as we do today. And if you type guest in the comments, then you can join us live on air. So Live Video Hub is open to everybody on BeLive.tv. And all you need to do is to broadcast on your business page and tell me what the page is, which leads us neatly on to, because the Live Video Hub 150 shows, how do you find them? Right. Right. How do you find it all? Uh, for us, we, we've decided to do, Stephen and I, I am a bot builder. My name is RJ Redden, and I run a business called Black Belt Bots, where I build messenger bots uh, morning to evening, all of the mornings and evenings. Anyway, uh, we decided to build a bot so that we could create a function in there called the discoverability engine, which is how you find a show of interest to you by topic. We looked at all of our broadcasters. We looked at the what they were broadcasting about. We uh, And then we kind of sorted into different categories. Right now you can find your shows by, by topic and category. And, uh, and you can connect. Uh, we, we've also built a function in there where once you find a show, you can go directly to that Facebook page and start seeing what that person is all about. And you can connect to their messenger bot if they have one. Uh, or you can set a reminder to get a reminder about 15 minutes before the show goes live. So that is, in a nutshell, uh, what the discoverability engine is. There's a couple of other purposes to it, too. Uh, but that's really the main stuff that we have going on and uh, what our intentions are going forward with this project. And a comment from Erin, which is very apt, and say thank you to Erin. Uh, it's brilliant, the discoverability engine. Well, that says it all, and I totally agree, Erin. I'm sitting and watching in awe as the discoverability engine takes shape and helps everybody to actually find live shows. Now, we'll come back to that in a moment because it's an important part of the live video hub. And Barb is saying she loves how it works. So thank you, Barb. Yeah. And we have a question. And Cliff is saying, does it have to be on my business page? So the place that you're broadcasting from has to be your business page. 
um, broadcasting from your personal profile, Facebook, uh, especially if it's a business thing, Facebook frowns on that. Uh, and they, <clears throat> you know, uh, you don't want to get put in Facebook jail. No one wants to get that, uh, done to them. Uh, so it, it we, we really recommend that people broadcast from their business pages. Um, and sometimes people don't necessarily have a business, but they want to broadcast. Uh, what you can do is you can create a page that is a, uh, like a, a personal, a personality page or a brand page, uh, or something like that. It doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be a business. It can just be your name, Cliff, uh, Cliff Townsend, the personality, uh, it can be, uh, so, uh, so yeah, but, but personal profiles, Facebook tends to frown on that. Well, there is, there's a benefit to going on your page, and that is Facebook is happy for you to sell. You can sell your books, you can sell your courses, you can sell anything you like on a business page. And according to the rules and a strict uh, interpretation of them, you're not supposed to sell on your personal page. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't know of anybody who's had their knuckles wrapped because of that, but uh, the situation is that it could happen. And if you were to get on the wrong side of Facebook, then uh, we all know about Facebook jail for 7, 14 or 28 days. We also know of people who, not for this reason, but have actually lost their Facebook pages, their Facebook profiles. So you need to keep on the right side of Facebook. That's, that's the one thing. And the other thing is that going from your business page, which as RJ said, you can create quite easily uh, in minutes, literally. The other thing about going from your business page is that you get information about your shows. Now, to give an example, after this show, we will know who has commented on the show. We'll be able to message anybody who's commented on the show. We will be able to know how many people watched and for how long, how many minutes were watched, mm -hmm. and the – what's the word I'm looking for? Erin used it earlier this afternoon – about your audience, the makeup, the composition of your audience, the mm -hmm. demographics was the word that Erin used. Thank you, Erin. Uh, you find out that what the demographics are for your page. So there's no cost to having a business page, but there are benefits and you can keep yourself on the right side of Facebook, as RJ said. If you want to uh, join us on camera, uh, Cliff, to ask a few more questions, then all you need to do is type guest. Just unsurprisingly, we have a bot running today, and it's called Bliffbot. Right, let's try. I'll catch up with the comments. Well, uh, Bob's saying she loves how the discoverability engine works. Erin is saying it sorts them all out super easy. I agree with that totally. Uh, right, and Erin's agreeing with RJ and I. No Facebook jail. Broadcast from your business page. Uh, okay, and. You know where of we speak, Clifford, if you've already been there. Um, so, but page is the safest way to do that. And Oh, Erin's been there too. Mm. Who are our viewers today? I'm going to say this. Uh, if you're ultra busy on Facebook, then it is quite easy. Uh, it Just in your normal uh, run of the day operations on Facebook to go on the wrong side of them just because some uh, program somewhere decides that you are not a person and you well anyway um, you're not a bot either but um, say hello to Jason and Erin is giving me the word demographics and Cliff has actually typed guest oh, awesome. and Bob's not been there in jail either and she's cross keeping her fingers crossed I've not been in Facebook jail either. I never have. I once, uh, and it happened to me a year ago, I got my Facebook ads account yanked. Oh. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. a little over a year ago, I wrote an ad, and they don't, they don't have people reading those. They have a computer reading those. Yeah. And the person or the, uh, the algorithm decided that I was uh, running a get which rich quick scheme and boop yanked everything had no idea why had no recourse uh it was kim boltzma who helped me get it back um so uh so yeah that was quite the time but 
it's Facebook, you know, you want to keep on the right side of Facebook. I've got a, I've got a boot camp about bots and it has a whole chapter about keeping on Zucky's good side uh, for a reason, because you, you know, Facebook provides us a great big playground to play in and it's awesome, but they make the rules and it's best not to forget that. Right. Okay. And now we have a guest and I'm going to bring Cliff on the screen and, uh, Cheers. Yeah, I, I've got a cup of tea here. I've not touched it yet. Hello, Cliff. Hey, how you doing? Cliff's here. Brilliant. Nice to, yes, nice to meet you. Here. Hey, pleasure meeting you too. So I have another question, if I may. Sure. And, you know, we can talk about Facebook another time because Facebook, but anyway, um, let's forget about Facebook for a second. Uh, as far as, I just started a show last week, Monday, going by two days ago. And mm -hmm. I wanted to know, how do I maximize, become more, most efficient and get a little bit more momentum going as far as letting people know about it, even in the community itself. I understand probably that this, that's what this bot is about um, as far as letting people, so I can get, in other words, so the people in, this, in the community can at least support me and support new shows coming in. And, you know, instead of just depending on people on Facebook and stuff like that. Yes. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, the, uh, so well, let me, so Cliff, do you know, do you know what basically, do you know what a bot is? Well, it's, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's a little thing that creeps around in the internet. <laughs> and, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, okay. So, uh, you, uh, and actually it's, it's a little, uh, there are so many people use the word cliff and it just muddies the water so much. Sometimes what a Facebook messenger bot is, is a, is a business page talking to a person in Facebook messenger. And some of the messages are automated. So if you are thinking about using a bot to promote a show, which I highly, highly recommend. Um, okay. Then you can, uh, people opt into the bot. They have to opt in. It's not just they like your page and they're opted into your bot at the same time. No, they have to physically opt in. But what you can do is create a little sequence of welcome messages, attach that to a link, and then start putting that link absolutely everywhere. Um, when I broadcast on BeLive, I have uh, I have one of the paid accounts. I think just the the first tier paid account, yep. and uh, it allows you to create a little bit of a a frame around your show. Uh, yeah. if, and so, uh, he, like like Stephen has said, if you type the word guest in the comments on this show, the bot starts talking to you, and invites you on and gives you the link, which is really great. Yeah. For mine, if you type live in the comments you will then get reminders every time I go live. So it is, it's kind of, it's working for you in that it will get more people to a know about your show in the first place, because you can, you know, when once people opt to your bot, then they, you can tell them all about the show. And then it really does get people in the seats for, uh, for the comments, for the discussion of the show. And having a having a good comment thread and having a good discussion on a show is so important these days, uh, Cliff. It, did I give you too much information there, sir? No. How do I how do I install the bot? I mean, it's great. I love the idea of it because exactly that's what I just did. I typed in guess and then it asked me to type in the word yay, and then I was there. So yes, I understand. So I can yeah. put that around yeah. everywhere. And I could put a word, my show is about speaking and becoming a better, you know, public speaker. So Perfect. I could probably put the word speak and in, in there type in the word speak or something like that. How do I install the bot and where do I get it? Minichat.com. Go there. You said mini? Many, many like in lots. Yeah, Stephen's going to type it in for us. But it's many like in okay. lots and then chat, all one word, dot com. Okay. You can go there and uh, sign up for a free account. 
Uh, I always uh, suggest that people get the pro account because, uh, geez, it's 10 bucks a month. And for what it does for you, that's an incredible uh, return on investment. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, P the mini chat has a lot of, you know, I mean, if you're if you're a person who's kind of technically minded, uh, then you can get you know, you can get through all of that. You can start building uh, and uh, and, you know, uh, start building your stuff right away. You don't necessarily need anyone to help you along. Um, so you can get started right away. If you're not a technically minded person, you might need a little bit more help. It's. It's the most user-friendly interface that I've found, but it's not exactly intuitive to a regular person who doesn't have a tech degree. Uh, does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It, is, it is like learning a language. It's like learn, learning French or German, then you just take it step by step. And, and it's relatively painless. Uh, and the thing that you can do is you can get people to help. You can take a mini course, and this lady next to me has written a beautiful course that you could take and it'll get you up to speed very quickly. The other thing that you can do is you can create a landing page. So you can have one page that you send everybody to, and that page then takes them into your bot, and they sign up, and you can then uh, send out broadcasts. Now, before this show, I sent out a message to 97 people. Now, that is called a broadcast because it's not individual. Well, it is individual messages. It is the ability to broadcast to a number of people at the same time. So 10 minutes before this show started, I sent out a broadcast, and the broadcast said, join us on camera, which is the same uh, link that you used. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Second one was watch the show live or watch the replay, yeah, which brought people straight to the Facebook page. And the third one, yeah. because we've got five shows a week, was watch yesterday's show, yeah. So all of the, all of that is available to you once you've invested that ten dollars. You can broad, get people into the bot through a landing page, and then you can broadcast. But as RJ would say, don't overdo it. Don't don't respect people, yeah, RJ. Well, that's the, I think that's the major thing. So, uh, so Cliff, they, these messages are so effective because people, when they see that little messenger icon, they associate that with talking to their friends and their family and people they care about. Um, and so when you are writing these messages, you want to, you want to fit the platform that you're on. You don't want to talk at people. You want to have conversations with people. And uh, and honestly, if you if you want, get on to get on to my bot um, because I will I'll teach you everything you know need to know to start. It's a short mini course. It's like a seven day mini course, uh, and uh, it'll just it'll give it'll kind of emulate what a good chatbot is. Um, so check out mybot.com is how you get there. Um, That's mybot.com. Check out mybot.com. Oh, check out. Okay. <laughs> check out. Uh, <laughs> you just got it, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, check out my bot. <laughs> yes. Do that because um, there's a little bit to know about writing a good one. Um, and you know, I've got. I've got tons of live streams and material and all these things you can watch totally for free. And, uh, I, you know, love to lo love to have you uh, in the community. So uh, so very good. Uh, Cliff, you're on the right track, man. Uh, this uh, this mess. I went to it uh, a little over a year ago and I changed my entire business in two weeks to all bots all the time. And I've never looked back and business has never been better. So this stuff's to go in places. It's true. Yeah, it's true. I've, been, I've been hearing a lot about it and I know definitely it is it is thing to be right now. So um, I'm glad I joined this because I want, definitely want to learn more about it and implement it in my business. Beautiful. Excellent. Now, from a practical point of view as well, are you a member of the Belivers group, Cliff? Yes. Good, right, okay. 
I saw him post this morning, actually. <laughs> All right. Yes. So you start from there. You post and you're showing the daily thread. That means that people visiting the group will see it. That's the first level of visibility. The second level is to broadcast from your business page and then uh, cross post the live video hub, which gives you a new audience. Yeah. And there's no cost to it. Uh, basically, it takes okay, 30 seconds. Okay, I need to make sure I understand. Okay, broadcast my business page. Then you said cross post to where? To my profile and other pages? No, no, no. no. We have a page called the Live Video Hub, uh, which is okay. I manage on behalf of BeLive.tv. And on that page, there are 150, over 150 different shows. And when you go live on your page, you go live on the Live Video Hub. So if you're going live at 1 p.m. Eastern, you say, right, I want this show on the live video hub and it takes a minute and it's on the live video hub. And when you go live on your page, you go live on the hub and you find a new audience as well as your own. Yeah. OK, so uh, how do I select to go live on the video? hub? Where is that? Where is that option? Right. All you need to do is to send me your business page link via Messenger okay. and we'll get the ball rolling step by step. Yeah. OK, cool. So message, message me after the show. Now, as far as I'll come to your comment in a moment, Angel, because it's going to take some reading. Um, in, ter in terms of actually getting your show going and getting an audience, this there's there's no there's no substitute for hard work and legwork uh, in getting known. I mean, the thing is, to first of all, if you if you you can share your expertise in the Belivers group, then do. If you can share your expertise on your page, then do. If you can be a guest on people's shows like you are doing now, then do. The more people see you, the more people will want to watch your show. Yeah. So yeah. When, when you, if you appear on other people's shows, when they, they see you in their timeline, yeah, Cliff Townsend in their timeline, they're more likely to watch the show because they've, they've seen you on the show. Yeah. So, be a guest in other people's shows, not for an hour, for 10 minutes or so. Just pop in to say hello, yeah. say a bit, no selling, say your bit, and then go. And if you do that, if you could do one show a week, then you're effectively meeting over 200 people a year. Sorry, over 50 people a year. Multiply that by once a day, then that's over 200 people, which would be your potential audience. Yeah? Okay. And, so it's, it's a step by step right now. Uh, if you have more questions, if it's just a moment, I've, I've got to get my best speaking voice on and read this out because Angel said this is for you, Cliff. Hi, friends. From what I understand, the bot is great. But for your question about getting your community support, maybe you can create a Facebook group chat of a handful of supporters, that's friends, that you know you can rely on. Ah, Erin's. Erin's posted. I can't see it anymore. You can tell them in the group message that you are broadcasting and ask them to please stop by, uh, comment and share. They can do that just for a few minutes, but it will help spread your show. But like I am, create the bot for the new subscribers you will get. So solid suggestion there from Angel. Uh, creating a group, RJ. Oh, creating a group. What a beautiful suggestion. Uh, you know, I heard uh, I heard on Aaron Strayer's show yesterday, there was a lady on who was talking about the lone wolf syndrome and how uh, and how that just absolutely doesn't work anymore. That the the lone wolf syndrome leads people to uh, work in 16 hours a day and burning out because trying to be heard above the crowd right now is so difficult. But if you are, uh, and Cliff, you strike me as a friendly guy. If you are a person who wants to make connections with other live streamers, wants to, you know, as Steven said, pop on each other's shows, wants to create a small group, as little nucleus of people that will get on your show and be an audience member and, you know, start that, start that crowd for you. Yeah. Joey Garrity. Thank you. Thanks, Aaron. I forgot her name. Uh, I thought she was super neat, but I have trouble with names sometimes. Uh, so getting that small nucleus of people to say, you know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put your show up, uh, you know, and I'll, I'll write some comments there. 
um, you know, every Wednesday at two or whenever you go, um, that is so helpful in the beginning because then, you know, you can, you can count on a few people. If you love doing something and you want to perfect something, do it every day. And I don't mean you have to go live every day. What I mean is, you know, there are, and here's, here's a perfect use for the live video hub. See what other people are doing. Just watch what other people are doing. Get on there, find some shows that you want to follow, and then be a part of those shows. Be in the comments. You don't have to be on screen, on screen to live stream. You can be in the comments asking your host questions, uh, putting helpful links in there for the audience. You can be, you know, kind of the silent uh, producer, a really helpful and useful audience member. That host is going to remember you. You might get a chance to be on their show for 10 minutes and then you can practice that craft further. There's, this is a big mission, but you can start today, my friend. And that, 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 that thing about getting a community around you is huge. Uh, you know, making friends with Stephen Healy was probably one of the big turning points of my live streaming career. This guy is online every single day. Uh, this guy is constantly conceiving projects that's going to move the community forward. Uh, develop your brand, create your own vibe by practicing as much as possible. Oh yes, Franco squared. Oh yes. Uh, and that, that cannot be, that cannot be underestimated that, that element of, okay, I'm going to get on today. I'm going to try something new. I'm going to see what happens. Uh, so yeah, a lot of practice developing that community Bots are great too. There's so many ways you can go with this. I hope we're not overwhelming you, Cliff. No, I just want to ask a question. I just saw Franco. Franco it looked like he was in Facebook jail. It was. It looked like it was behind bars. <laughs> was that Facebook jail? But Franco. Franco was in. <laughs> right. Uh, Franco is also called Jason. And uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, the the thing is that it's a step by step approach. I mean, nobody has been doing this for longer than two years. Because okay. we all we all started out, or oh, RJS. Um, <laughs> well, well, I think I started in late 2015, so it's right. not three years yet. Okay, thank you. It's two and a half years. Two and a two, uh, two, just over two and a half years. So we all started from scratch. We all got to know each other, and it's you can do that at any time. You can build a a, a network of people uh, just by stepping out being open and stepping out and saying hello to people you find that if you say hello people say hello back and it's the live video community is renowned for that being totally supportive um and if you ask a question in be live you'll get an answer and that's the way that it works and eventually you'll be, be answering the questions too specifically if they're in your area of expertise angel's got another short comment excuse me a moment uh i just go and muck it up it works for me uh, that's it just do it <laughs> which is uh, <laughs> for the show that is on tomorrow just do it um and angels okay angel is saying discoverability engine bot am i right in understanding that it will bring viewers to your business page main feed it does not land on a playlist for the show on your page. And thank you both, by the way, for all the work you've done. Well, thank you. You are welcome. And just as soon as those playlist links are available, Angel, just as soon as they're available, I'll send them right to a link for you. I swear to you, that is the best of all possible worlds. But Facebook isn't making that possible right now. As far as I know, maybe they've come out with it. No, nope. but um, but yeah, no, I'd so much rather send them to a directed place where you've been able to prepare and roll the red car carpet out for people and put that playlist and exactly the right videos in exactly the right order. I get you, uh, and as soon as it's possible, it'll be done. Actually, I have, I have a suggestion. Surely, if if you believe, uh, because whenever when I went on on Monday. It gives me the option where do I want to post, and yep. my personal if, if if the best place to post and do not to post but to do your videos your show is on your business page, then maybe B Live should put a a suggestion the best place to 
post from is your business page because I, I did it from my profile page. I figured that's where I have most of my my connections, right. my communication. So that's where I went straight to my profile page. That's how many of us started uh, because you, you quite rightly say most of your friends are on your Facebook page and your business page needs building up. That right, the people who use uh, Be Live and there are thousands upon thousands of them are not just business people, they're people doing personal broadcasts. We, they don't have a, a business, they're not interested in business, they're using this to network with friends and that's why the personal profile is there because a lot of people do just stay on the personal profile, they, they're not in business, they don't need to go to the business profile, they will never sell anything. You've also got personal profile, business profile, into a group and creating your own group is a brilliant idea which was brought up earlier because you can broadcast into a group and you can also broadcast, no, I can't say that yet because you can't broadcast to an event at the moment. And comment from Jason, Jason's saying when you're ready to step up and go into advertising, you're going to need that business page, yeah. So if you are on the business side and you want to advertise, the only place you can do that is on your business page. Okay, yeah. wow. All right, so with regards to the live video, just to recap for a moment, if you send me a link after the show, Cliff, to your business page, we can get the wheels in motion and it takes a couple of minutes and I'll <clears throat> show you step by step how to go live on live video when you go live on your page. Okay. Once you're on there, then I'll send you details of how to submit your show details to the discoverability engine, which will help you get found. RJ, do you want to explain what's needed? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's just a few things. I need uh, I need the link to your page, obviously. Uh, if you have a messenger bot, I'll need a link to that. I realize you might not have it at first. You can give it to me later if you create one. I need a show card, which is just it's a horizontal image with your show title, uh, your and the the times that you go live and you know your logo if you have one or you know uh depends on how deep you are into imagery and graphics and stuff like that but the real basics are hey show title maybe a little picture of your face would be great uh so people can know who they're talking to um uh your yeah show title and the time always too we ask at the live video hub that you put uh, whatever time zone you're in, that's totally fine. You can put your, your time zone there, but also put it in Eastern time. Um, reason being is because we've got people from all over the world on the hub. And so we've just kind of agree, all sort of mutually agreed that putting the Eastern, the shows in the Easter times on the show cards is uh, kind of the language we all speak, I guess. Uh, so, uh, so there's that, but, uh, I'll tell you that that stuff is all outlined. Uh, when, when Steven brings you into the video hub, he'll also give you a little sequence where I ask you those questions and you can kind of submit those too. So don't worry about getting it all now, but, uh, those, I ask for four things, uh, you know, a little one liner description, uh, a title, a link to your page and a link to your bot if you have one and then uh, show card. So I guess technically five, if you have a lot. But it is it's painless and straightforward, and you can stop and start anytime you like uh, as you get the information available. Um, we have to say that even though we're into bots and automation, the discovery of the engine, the creation of it, the coding of it, the maintenance of it are all done by hand. It is a labor, well, it's just well-crafted and a labor of love, really. Um, so that's that. Now it's advertisement time. Excuse me a moment, Cliff. Uh, we'll be back with the regular show in a moment. Don't go anywhere. Right, I'm going to bring this full screen so you can see. Um, on the 6th to 10th of August, it's five days live, Monday through Friday, with eight of your favorite broadcasters getting together to provide tuition, online tuition, on the topics that they live and breathe every day. And from left to right, you can see RJ, Annie Moura, Erin Strayer, Linda West, David Burroughs, Cheryl, Brigetti, Emois, and me. So the eight of us have got together. 
These shows will go out at 10 a.m. Eastern, August 6th to 10th. You're all welcome to join. You're all welcome to be guests on camera. You are most welcome to promote it as well. Um, but we're looking forward to this, and uh, we're getting a plan together, and it's going to be fun. And I'm just grateful for everybody who's involved. And uh, I had a, I often have chats with RJ, so RJ, I acknowledge all the help. But also today I spoke to Erin as well. And uh, this is teamwork at its best. With that advertisement done, oh, it's free, by the way. You can watch for free. You can support us for free. And that's the 6th to 10th of August from 10 a.m. Eastern. See, the world, the world runs on Eastern time. We've got a friend called David Vaughan, and he says, no, the time matters. Now, RJ and I take exception to that because I'm actually in the UK, and RJ, you're on Central. Central. So, but the two of us actually, on the, all the cards, as RJ say, we always put Eastern time so that everybody knows where we are. And when I'm planning any shows, I always work off Eastern time, uh, especially when the clocks change. Yeah. Which is confusing enough anyway when that happens twice a year. Uh, so I always work on Eastern time. Right. Any, any questions, Cliff, or any observations? Um, no, I'm, I'm the information you give me as far as the bot is concerned. Um, that's great. I'm going to check that out. I'm going to check out. I'm going to, I'm going to sign up for check out my bot.com and also many chat.com. Very and good. check those out. But one question: Can I use can I use these bots? Well, the the way I heard about bots before is not in this platform, but however, for 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 using it on like a, a website. So can can these for the same thing as far as building a database and capturing people's information and using it to to say answer questions, you know, generic questions that I'm you know as if as if someone is so it's, in other words. It's like having a customer service 24 seven. Absolutely. Uh, you can uh, build, put a website chat button on your website in the lower right hand corner um, that when people click on that, then you have a little sequence saying, I, I have this on blackbeltbots.com. Uh, people get a little sequence saying, hey, so glad you visited us today. Uh, I have summoned RJ. I am RJ's chatbot. Can I, you know, can I shoot her a question for you? Um, it's my it's my 24 hour customer service. Uh, it's, it's how a, a little entrepreneur like me can have a 24 hour customer service on the website. So that's one of the pro tools. So you'll have to do you'll have to go for a paid uh, tier. But again, 10 bucks a month for what it does is, is pretty good investment. So uh, yes, you can absolutely do that. And uh, I, I totally suggest it. So with the one, it, with, a, with a paid subscription, I can use that button, different platforms, my website, and also be live on my Facebook page, different places. You can. Or is there just a link that I can use anywhere I want to? Yeah. You can you can make a link to use anywhere you want to uh, with most of the what they, they call growth tools is what you're thinking about. Um, the website chat is a piece of code you have to embed your website. Um, but yeah, you can you can cover the earth with the link. Uh, you can print something that's like a QR code that will scan and add people to your bot. I mean, there are so many things you you can do growth wise. Yeah. Okay, cool. Brilliant. Cool. Very good. Uh, right, so we're actually, we're not doing so bad. Uh, okay, just a minute. I've got a spelling mistake. Just let me correct the spelling mistake because it could have been embarrassing if I had put it up on the, uh, well, it would have been embarrassing because I had uh, a moment where instead of typing, you'll see in a minute, Instead of typing board, I, I sort of rearrange the letters a bit. <laughs> Use your own imagination. Um, <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So we have a Trello board, board RJ. Yes. Uh, well, and this is, uh, this is for Stephen and I organizing this project. We started this project maybe eight weeks ago, I think. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, we've done a whole lot since then. But building the find a show feature is really just the beginning 
because inside the bot, we're asking broadcasters, hey, what topics do you want to learn more about? And we'll be able to create sequences for them, teaching them more about the subject. So, for instance, discoverability. A lot of people, a lot of broadcasters, when they first went through the bot, well, said, I want to learn more about discoverability. So, our intent is to also use the bot as a teaching tool for the broadcasters and use it as that, that find a show function for the people who are just visiting the page. So... To keep track of all of these things, my friends, uh, because I'm not good at keeping it in my head, uh, is we made uh, something called a Trello board. If you're not too familiar with Trello boards, uh, it's just it's basically a, a really, really visual list uh, of the things that we want to do in the future. So uh, we do have that link. It is a public board as well. If you want to get on there and see what we're going to be doing in the future. Uh, and then, you know, if you, if you see something that you really like, or if you see, if you don't see a suggestion you think that we should really have, you can message one of us uh, and we can kind of talk about what we want to do in the future and it might end up on the board. So if you want to keep track of what we're doing, uh, Stephen has the link uh, possibly, uh, or we'll just, we'll just, we'll put it in the comments a little bit later on, but you can kind of get a look at what our future direction is and where we're going to go with this thing. Cause it's not just about, it's about getting new eyeballs on your show first and foremost, but secondarily, it's also about becoming a better broadcaster, being able to look at what other people are doing to be able to share with you some best practices through the bot uh, this is what we're going for because honestly, the more, the better we all become, uh, the more attractive the live video hub is. And then uh, the rising tide, uh, you know, lifts all boats type of thing. So uh, that is what our Trello board is about. We just wanted to tell you that we, we have it, we've made it public and we add to it regularly. So hit on it if you'd like to see it. Uh, and uh, we'll be we'll be chatting about that in the future, I think. And Bob's saying she she needs a Trello board too. I mean, it does make a difference uh, because no matter how good you are, as you get my age, well, no, without getting my age, your memory. <laughs> thank you, RJ. I was hoping to raise eyebrows. Um, now the link to the Trello is it this, the the one you go to me? Is it the same for everybody? Yep. Okay. Well. I'm not sure if okay, you go up check. on the board and you click on public, I think that it might give you the link there. Uh, I'm, I'm actually not sure we might have to figure that one out. I was looking at it this morning and I, I th thought that it might be the same link, but I could be okay. wrong. We'll, we'll, double, we'll double check that and we'll post that later. And we say hello to Carla. Thank you for joining us. Um, yeah. So that's the Trello board and we're using that because we want to be organized and we also want to be public. This, it's great when we, we you can work as a team. Now, we're a team of two, but we have lots of friends and they pitch in uh, when we ask and we help them when they ask us. And that's the way we like to roll. And if you need any help anytime, just shout. And if you think you can help us, then please volunteer uh, because that's what makes everything work smoothly. Uh, well, let me ask on that topic, what, what what do you guys need? What what what? Support, what kind of support do you need? Need, you know, for for us, uh, I think that the the work is the work is getting underway. Okay, um, I'm able to I'm able to add people uh, reasonably quickly. Um, some people have waited a little while, but us, uh, you know, that that happens sometimes. But uh, but really, I think that the the thing that the live video had. Uh, and see if you agree, Stephen. The thing that we need the most right now are people getting on there, watching shows, talking to us about what their experience is like and what their suggestions are. How can we make this the best cross posting mecca uh, for B Live TV broadcasters that there ever has been 
forever. How can we make this a great place? Uh, Stephen and I were talking about this yesterday, in fact. Uh, somebody had brought up to me, Jason Franco, if you're listening out there, uh, he had brought up to me that uh, depending on what time you decide, and this is all this is all second level stuff, Cliff. So don't don't get over overwhelmed with this stuff. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, this is some some second tier stuff. But when you do cross post, your post doesn't necessarily show up at the time you go on. It's based on when you cross post. So if I am doing all my stuff early and I cross post my video for tomorrow, two days ago, then when I finally go live, it's going to be way down in that post list. So, uh, so Stephen and I, I, I asked him if we could just view the page as viewers and go through it and look at, okay, if somebody popped onto this page, would they know the value of this? Would they know what they're looking at? And would they know what to do if they wanted to find a show? Yeah. So we wanted to answer those three questions. And sometimes, I'm not complaining, Zucky. Don't shut me down, dude. Uh, but sometimes Facebook, the, the structure is a little bit difficult to work with. For me, I want to lead everybody right to my videos page because I got a lot to watch for you. I do. Uh, and uh, that, you know, that is what people tend to stick to. That's what people tend to really want to watch and, and be a part of. Um, other people may want to lead them other places, but for us, we want to be able to serve the broadcasters and get them on and in there quickly and start giving them tidbits of information that'll help them become better broadcasters. And we, we want audience members to be able to, to get on there and go, oh, this is like, uh, you know, this is it's a whole lot of program. I could, maybe I could find somebody I want to watch in here. Um, and, uh, and once that, once we are able to make the Facebook page awesome in those three ways, then we'll be really ready to ask be live to start uh, throwing some advertising our way. Yeah. In the meantime, practical steps uh, to you, Cliff, if you put your show on there, that helps. If you watch other people's shows on the, on the live video hub, that helps. If you see a show you like and you follow it or share it, that helps too. So it's just going about your normal death day routine and if you'd like something, just say so. I mean, we're all, there is, uh, in getting a show, a wider audience on Facebook, it's all about reach. And Facebook's in control and they decide how many people can see your show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that's the Facebook reach. And you cannot be seen by more than that. But what you can do is increase that reach. You can increase the reach from 100 to 200 to 1,000. And the, the greater the reach, the more people will see your show in their timeline. One way to do that is if you see a show that you enjoy, like people are doing today, is to actually comment. And we know that every time somebody comments on the show, Facebook says, somebody's commented. We'll show it to more people. And that's how you increase your Facebook reach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can help other people by commenting on their shows. Uh, all right, the bot's off. The what? And Jason's saying the bot's not working. I'm going to copy it hmm. to clipboard, and uh, I'll put the link in. Direct, I'll put the direct link in, Jason. Uh, okay. Okay. I'll double check that afterwards. It's quite yeah. <laughs> I can't do quite anything possible. about it right now, but in 12 minutes. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Uh, right. Okay. Just to, to backtrack a bit, uh, Angel saying, uh, loving everything that we're talking about, and thanks. Sorry for my wordy comments, Steve. No need to apologize. I enjoy reading your comments, um, and they're always germane to what we're talking about and always add to the conversation. So just keep on making them. And we welcome uh, Jason. So say hello to Jason. Jason, meet Cliff. Cliff, meet Jason. 
Hey, Cliff. It's all hey, yours, Jason. Jason. All yours, Jason. Uh, no, I just wanted to say uh, what RJ was talking about when I brought up um, the um, timing of when you when you cross post. At what time do you activate that? So I did a little test. I ha actually haven't even seen it. I did it uh, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, this morning. I created the post yesterday, but did not activate the cross post until 10 a.m. this morning to see if if it would help the position of okay. where the feed yeah. is for a video live live video. Hub. So hopefully that worked. Yeah, well, and uh, too, Jason, we're, uh, Stephen and I met yesterday, and we're looking at some different uh, systems, uh, like 22 Social, that will allow you to sort of reconfigure your page a little bit. Um, yeah. and, uh, and because we really, the way that the, the posting is working, I think that, I think that there are some folks that will, you know, that are pretty, pretty techie like you who will kind of figure that out and act accordingly. But I think that that's an awful lot to ask of somebody. Um, and, uh, and I really, I, I want to experiment with some things to see if we can't put the videos much more front and center and the find a bot, find a, find a bot, find a show function a lot more front and center, if that makes sense. Well, see that that's why RJ, you are who you are and that's a service oriented person. That's really cool that, that you're considering that to where people don't have to be too techy and don't have to really think about it. Um, I think that's good. I think it's really good. I've never messed with 22 social. Uh, to me, that is uh, very techy. And if you, if I'm considered techy, that kind of tells you that, that um, where I am with that, but uh, no, that's really cool. But on the flip side, um, you know, learn what you need to learn of what tools work for you and, you know, it's, it's, it's not bad practice to learn that, to, to, to analyze that, to work it also. Also Cliff, if you ever need somebody to make you look really nice on live stream, this guy with the blue background, uh, I don't even know what direction yeah, right. I'm pointing it on the screen, but, uh, see yeah, Jason. Point, 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 that point. point that way. Okay. Yeah. yeah there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate that. So, but yeah, no, so I just Jason, wanted to jump in. Do you use a bot, Jason? Uh, yes, I am um, in collaborating with RJ. RJ uh, has some awesome services, uh, and she's helping me out with that. Okay, cool. All right. Now, this is interesting, RJ, and well, everybody actually. Erin's uh, saying she's got a lot of clients that use 22 Social. It might work for this situation. I personally have not thought I needed it. Well, the, yeah. the, the situation was, was brought, brought to light by Jason, which often happens in that when you visit a live video hub page, if and if you press the video button, you can see the playlists, and there's always one which says uh, this week's shows, and you can go to that playlist and you can sort of browse through it. You also got the discoverability engine, but the way that Facebook's laid it out, nobody, we, we, put, we have to keep pushing it. What we're looking for is a solution where we can just, and Facebook, if you're listening, just, just one wish. If we can send people to a direct link so that they can watch video, that's it. That's all we need, a direct link. Yeah. We Di can, direct link for playlists. Yeah. Yeah, they just put these playlists out too. Um, this was just a uh, uh, very, very like three weeks ago, maybe they put these, the, these, you know, so that you could arrange your video into playlists. And what they're trying to do is compete with you. Oh, yeah. Too. Yeah. They just, uh, which these big guys, this is what they do all the time is plot against each other. It's hilarious. Anyway, uh, so I, I believe soon we'll have those playlists and then we'll be able to do some crazy stuff. You guys, it's going to be awesome. Totally. Yep. Totally. I mean, do we, do, I love the way that Facebook innovate and just a, a note on that, uh, on the cross posting, not to complicate things to, to sort of explain further. Uh, we know that the best time to cross post is before you go live, okay? Because then when you go live on your business page, you go live on the hub. And if you've got arrangements with other people, you go live on their pages too. Facebook recently quietly introduced the ability to go to a recorded show 
and to cross post that too. In other words, they've sort of filtered that in so that you can go to an edited post and you can cross, uh, sorry, a recorded post and you can cross post that too. Um, that surfaced when Ross mentioned it today. But it's like everything, you, I saw it a few days ago and I thought, I've got to tell everybody about that. And then something else happened, squirrel, and I just didn't get back to it. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, well, and then Brigetti, if you saw her post last night, now yeah. you can take a recorded video talking to you, Jason Franco. You can take a recorded video and play it in preview. It's 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 a pre. It's called preview. I don't know why, uh, but you can play it as if it's a yeah. live video. Yeah. So okay, kind of like kind of like watch. Kind it, kind of like that. Yeah. It's a public watch. Yeah. 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 That's a good That's description cool. of it. But the thing is that if you if you do a pre-recorded video and you're watching along with everybody else, then you can genuinely, without distracting anybody, have a discussion in the comments whilst the show is running. Yeah, that works great for me because actually um, I'm trying to get in the habit of, of going live uh, 2 p.m. Eastern on, my, on Wednesdays, and I yeah. just got a – uh, confirmation on a job this coming Wednesday, so I won't be able to be there. And I'm thinking, well, that that stinks. But this right here gives an opportunity yeah. for me to to do that. Yeah, right. It's cool. Mama's I don't have awesome it yet. Sauce. I don't have it yet. It's being rolled out, kids. So if you don't have it yet, be patient. But it's it's right oh. there for you. Uh, I I saw Brigetti's example, so I'll be looking for it daily now. So right. So, so that's the, go ahead. So let me understand. Are you saying that I could record a show and put it out later, and it's the people, the viewers will never know that it's not live, that I'm not there right there and then. And they, like evergreen. They will. They might know if they ask you a question and you don't stop to address it but you address it in the comments instead, they'll probably yeah. know. Um, what What's happening is that, uh, and why I'm so excited about this is because I make a lot of little videos um, and I want them to get the same exposure that my live videos do. Facebook prioritizes live video. It just does. But this ability to take recorded video and promote it as if it's alive will get your recorded video a little bit more exposure as well. So that's why I'm excited about it. Um, if you choose to do that, if you choose to record an entire show and then put it, uh, you know, do it, do it as a preview, put it in the post that it's a recorded show and that you'll be around to answer stuff in the comments. Yeah. Just tell them. They'll understand. But it, it does give extra life to every show that we do. You can decide, okay, uh, on this left field thinking, you could say, right, okay, we're going to take the, not going to do it, but I'm just argument's sake, we're going to take the last four episodes of our show and we're going to play them on a Saturday afternoon. So if you have nothing else to do, you can watch back-to-back -back shows with RJ and Stephen for four hours and get caught up on our series. That's sorry, right? Okay, I'm getting carried away there. My apologies. Uh, right, we're coming towards the end of the show. Cliff, where can people find you? And then I'll hand over to RJ. Well, they can go to clifftownsend.com or Speak and Master Academy, speakandmasteracademy.com, also on Facebook, Speak and Master Academy. Brilliant. Okay, and if you, after the show, if you want to drop a link uh, in the comments, please do. And it's over to RJ because our tradition is that we share the workload and I start the show and RJ, over to you. Well, so there was one thing that we did not mention. Okay. Uh, well, two things I want to go over. Okay. Uh, and then I'll close out. I promise. <laughs> uh, and I'll go real fast so that we can no, end no, up no, on no, the no, hour. No, no, you're all right. Come on. It's German lesson tonight. I'm not in a rush. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done my homework for the German lesson. What am I going to do? Carry you on. are going to follow the pattern that you always follow every single week because you always tell me you haven't done your homework, <laughs> Stephen. <laughs> 
Sorry. Anyway, uh, so one thing I, I just want to put out there again, the the August, uh, the first week in August, that that five days of live education uh, that's going on it is going to be insane. Uh, it is going to be packed with information. Uh, you're going to want to slow the video down to 0.5 uh, to get everything that we're going to be saying about discoverability, planning your videos, confidence on camera, repurposing your videos after the live show is done. It's going to be insane. Please do join us. Uh, we're going to be doing some advertising around this uh, real, real soon. Uh, and uh, I also want to say that we have been starting to look at a little, a little avatar little personality oh, yes. for our bot. Yep. Um, well. Yeah. So uh, look forward to, to me jazzing up that bot a little bit right now. It's a little textual, my friends, and that's a little boring to look at. So we're going to jazz it up here real soon. And, uh, and I, yeah, that's, uh, so that's, that's what's going on. My folk, my friends, uh, we didn't really have time to go into, uh, how I'm gonna looking at setting up the reminders. Uh, the reminders are not quite set up yet in the bot, but they will be. Uh, and uh, so we'll go over that next week. We'll kind of look at uh, the reminders uh, and how those are being set up. Uh, if you have info to get to me about your show, do get it to me. Just ping up the live video, uh, live video hub. Uh, send a message, and uh, and we'll be there to answer it for you. Uh, thank you for watching today. Thank you, Cliff. Thank you, Jason, for being on. Uh, and uh, that's it. We love our fans, uh, and we're gonna we're gonna create some more eyeballs on our shows together. Excellent. And you can find Jason and me online video and. Uh, Contentmakers.net. Yes, there you are. Okay. <laughs> All right. From Wiltshire in England and from the USA, from various parts of the USA, we say goodbye for this week and take care, and we'll see you again soon.